Hi. Finding the equivalent coefficient of a parallel or serial damper system. We're going to start with parallel systems and we're going to try to explain the equation of how we could find an equivalent for when we have many or more than one um, dampers in series or in parallel. Notice that this, um, this system doesn't have a fixed object anywhere. It is because we are trying to work on the idea, for example, remember your car that the the these are the lights remember your car that the shock conservers they work these are like springs the shock conservers work in the sense that you have a, a road and the idea for them is that when you fall into a hole the shock in service can absorb all the that force and transform into heat so if you were fall to if you were to fall into a hole there's already a force being exerted here by the weight of the car and gravity and the shock conservers are going to move downwards it's the same thing here for your for this example we have a system of two parallel dampers I'm going to apply a force here I'm going to see that they are going to move in this direction and they're going to be displaced also in this direction just as it happens here so this well something else that you have to notice is that when you apply this force the force is going to be distributed between both dampers. This could be algebraically represented in this next equation where the force that is applied will be equal to the coefficient, the first coefficient or the friction coefficient of the first damper times the speed in which this force is applied well something really interesting is that it's going to be the speed in which it's going to be moving here and here so it's going to be the difference between that speed Remember that when you have a distance, the first derivative of the distance equals velocity. And you could rewrite this as this. And the second derivative which is time of the position it's acceleration and this can be re re rewritten as is this so what are we saying we are saying that if you have a damper and you apply a force in a certain direction And well, you have two dampers in parallel. 
both dampers are gonna have the force being distributed distributed through them and they the you know that inside the damper you have a Inside the lamp, you have a 